Have you set up your limited company yet? Oh my gosh, Armageddon's around the corner. Oh, wait a minute. No, nothing happens. If you do not set up a limited company, Armageddon doesn't happen. And you may not even need a limited company. Watch this video as I explain why. Hi, my name is Simon Mishevich. I'm your finance and tax director helping you grow your wealth whilst reducing your tax liability. And in this session, I'm going to be talking about not using a limited company for your property investments. That's right, let me restate that. Not to use a limited company for your buy to let investments. And the reason for that is because, well, you may not be tax efficient at all. You may have listened to the person in your networking group environment and who said, well, I've got a limited company, why haven't you? And there's a great saying, well, actually an acronym, FOMO. Fear of missing out. Are you now fear of missing out because someone else has got a limited company who, by the way, doesn't actually know why they've got a limited company, but it feels really good and sexy to have a limited company. Hey, I've got a limited company, I'm a director. However, you ask them about their tax position, and they'll say, well, I don't actually know. My accountant told me. And the problem is with that, you can go to your Facebook groups, your LinkedIn groups, and you'll see the same scenarios. Well, you should have a limited company if you're a high-rate taxpayer. Not necessarily. And let me explain why. Before we do, I do want to provide you with the yin and the yang. This is very much the yang. The yin is talking about why you should use a limited company, or potentially, because of Section 24, Mortgage Interest Relief Cap. Watch that video, that's appearing above my head now. And I do talk about another video which talks about mortgage interest costs are no longer allowed, so it's a bit more detailed than this video will ever go into. So do watch that video, it's 11 minutes for sure of good detail for you. Uh, this is talking about section 24 and what I want to do with you is give you a scenario of why you may not want to use a limited company. So do bear with me as we go through this. It could, I'm going to be comparing 1617, which is before section 24 mortgage interest relief cap came into effect, 2021 when the mortgage interest relief section 24 came into full effect so no longer allowed to offset any of your mortgage interest and 2021 22 a year after the full implementation now bear with me on this because let's imagine you've been a high rate taxpayer for each of those tax years but you decide that 21 22 you're going to retire or you are going to be a full-time property investor what does that mean from your tax position? Well, simply put, your tax is 40% in 1617 because of your employment income, 40% in 2021, but 0% as an employee in 20, what, 21, 22, because you've given up your job. So therefore, you have not got a tax problem, no tax issue. And that's going to be exacerbated in my next example. So in this one, you'll notice that all of the numbers are the same. The rental income across each three years is £50,000. The mortgage interest across the three years is £20,000. And the actual, actual earnings is £30,000. So there's no real change. I'm not, I'm trying to make a direct comparison. Apples with apples, not apples with pears and bananas. So ultimately, um, what this means is, is that you've got this position in terms of taxable earnings, which is what HMRC now determine your taxable earnings are rental income wise. In 1617, you were allowed to offset 100% of the mortgage interest costs of £20,000. So your taxable profits is £50,000 income, less the mortgage interest, but that leaves you £30,000 worth of taxable earnings. In the year 2021, you'll notice that a line's been put through mortgage interest because you're not allowed to offset the mortgage interest against your income. Therefore, your taxable profits or earnings on your rental business is £50,000. And that follows suit in the year 2021 as well. So why am I creating this video? What's the point? 
Well, the next slide will give you this reason. So here, as we've said, you got £30,000. This is before Section 24 came into effect. You got £30,000 tax for earnings and then £12,000 worth of tax, which is, follows all the way down. 40%, that's easy to tell. Now, taxable earnings is £50,000. Well, actually, it's £30,000, but you're not allowed to offset the mortgage interest, and that follows suit for both years. But you're a high-rate taxpayer in the year 2021, but in this exam, 21-22, you've given up your job. So your taxable earnings on your property is now taxed at just 20%, not 40%. And as a result of that, you're half in your tax bill at £10,000. You do get mortgage interest relief of 20% of whatever the mortgage interest costs are, and therefore you've got a tax credit really of £4,000. You'll notice now you've got £16,000, and this is why people are going from £12,000 before Section 24 came into effect jumping up to 16,000 because mortgage interest relief cap is in full flow and that's why people use a limited company. It's too early though because if they had waited until they'd given up their job their tax position is just 6,000 pounds. Six. That's even less than 1617. Main reason because they've given up their job. But because they've given up their job they do not have a tax problem at all. So why did they create a limited company? Because the mate told them to, right? Well, that's not really a good reason, is it? So don't forget, if you've got any questions, fire those in the question box below this video, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But I want to now highlight the issues, the additional issues of having a limited company is more administration. You've got more paperwork to do, the year end for the accounts, you've got your own self-assessment still to do. There's a bunch of paperwork you have to do. The accountants costs. So the accountants aren't just gonna charge you the same amount of money to do your self-assessment and do a bigger tax return for the company. They're gonna charge you maybe two or three times what they charge you for your self-assessment. So now you've got three times the amount of accountancy costs. And let's not forget, if you go to a bank and say, I have a limited company, can you give me a buy to let mortgage? Their mortgage interest costs are going to be 1%, if not 1.5% more than if you have a buy to let property in your own name with a mortgage. So you have to be careful because really, in the scenario I've just given you, you're paying more tax to HMRC because of this new uh, regime of using limited companies and you're gonna extract that for your lifestyle purposes, so that hasn't benefited you. You're paying more money to the banks because of greater mortgage interest costs, and you're paying more money to the accountant. Have you won at all? I'm not so sure. So this is why I created this video, because I want you to really stop and think, did I need that company at all? Or should I have waited until I understand where I'm going in the next two, three, four, or even five years. Take the tax hit now for the long-term benefit of having the right tax structure that is going to last you for a good number of years. Well, why not book a call with me, Simon Mishevich, your finance tax director for at least an hour to understand how we can help you grow your business without paying the tax.